No timer. Oh, shit. This is like the, uh, this is like RE7 all over again. So, fun fact, one of the very first things I ever recorded was the Resident Evil 7 demo. And now here we are, years later, however long it's been. And now we're in Resident Evil 8 Village. Village. Scrap of paper. Yeah. Uh, to whomever is trying to escape this place, I hope this note will find... Well, let me try this again. To whomever is trying to escape this place, I hope this note will be of some assistance. You don't know me, but you will have to trust me if you want to survive. First, you need to get out of... Uh, of the cell. Look around for the way. Get on your hands and knees if you must. Then search for the thing you'll need to escape. It will be hidden where they'll least suspect. Soaked in blood. Bloodborne confirmed. Uh, once you get out of the dungeon, you should find yourself in a room. The door there won't lead to salvation. The light will lead you down the right path. You might hit a dead end, but do not give up. There should be a way to proceed hidden somewhere. Once you find the ladder, the only way is up. But watch out. Don't let them see you. I plan to make my escape tonight and pray that you make it out alive. Okay. Oh. That's a shithole. <laughs> uh, alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Having flashbacks to Witcher 2 where he's like, to like, um, uh, Geralt's getting his ass beat. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Nope, no, that's not gonna do anything. Um, how much you want to bet it's in the shit pot? Shit pot! Coming in heavier. There's a key in here somewhere. Oh, okay, that was that. Ah! Ho ho! Oh no. Oh, somebody's been eating. Somebody's been eating good. Ah, there we are. Oh. This is how we do it. The dead zone. So just like Resident Evil 7, the dead zone on on this feels off. Um Oh, controls, control setting. Oh shit, I can't do any dead zone on it. Uh, movement camera, inverted speed, acceleration. Let's try strong. Camera wobble. Movement camera speed. We'll turn that up just a tad bit. Display damage. Sure. Graphics. HDR mode. Don't want really HDR mode on. Dynamic range small. Small, sure. Um, background, blah, 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 blah. Virtual surrounds, sure. That's better. Okay, that's better. Medicines for keeping livestock alive. Oh. Jesus, Joseph, Mary. Very kind of, very kind of RE7. Very kind of RE7. Ooh. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah, we gotta, gotta snip snip. Gotta get the snip snips. You motherfuckers, you are trying to go all RE7 on us. Uh, you might not be dead because I can't walk over you. Help me, brother. Sure. It's 
some kinky shit going on in here. Oh, that's just, that's going to leave a mark. Um, need a key. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Little lady's got... Nope, that's not the right door. Nope, she's definitely gone. Ah, there's the snip snips. Then that's going to trigger something. Ew. Dun, dun, dun. Totally going to trigger something. Turn around and bam in my face. Nope. Okay. Nope, oh, there it is. Ha! Ho, ho. See? Told you. <laughs> All right, time for the snip snips. We got this. We got this. We have got this. No problem. I'm just going to turn it down just a slight bit. I'm just going to bump it down one notch. I'm just trying to do one notch. Thank you. Dude, it is some fucking uh, medieval ass stuff going on here. The blood. So much Bloodborne reference in this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are they drinking the blood of the infected to try and turn themselves into gut? Is this just totally a Bloodborne rip? Could be. Ah. I got a luck pick. Got a luck pick. A luck pick. Oh, got a luck pick. Uh, no, that wasn't. Hold on. Isn't there a door back here somewhere? Probably, maybe. No, no. Where's the? Yeah, that's how we do that. Okay. That's that. What if? Hold on. What if I want to lock pick this door back here? I know I'm supposed to lock pick the other one, but let's go for secrets, right? No lock pick. Okay. Never mind. I was trying to be smart. It didn't work. All right, we'll go to the door. To the door. Oh. Well, I'm hearing something. Oh sh. Oh shit. Oh shit. You know, just unlock it real quick. You know, just just real quick. Mm -hmm. Pull the lever. Gotta pull the lever. Let me through. Oh, this is... God damn, that's detailed. Resident Evil guys, developers, everyone. You level designers are top tier. You guys are good. Look at this. That, that's really cool. Hello? Let me guess. That's blood. That's not wine, right? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I'm going to chew. Ah, oh, that's going to stain. Damn it. Oh, hi. Nah, you're trying to intimidate me with sad effects instead. Oh. You might still be alive. Just saying. This stinks so bad. Very reminiscent of RE7. The feast. Welcome to the family, son. Box? Can I open box? Can't open box. I want to open box. Get this a little bit closer. Um. Ah, meh. Danse macabre, macabre, macabre. Danse macabre. Are we in? Are we in like the Spanish kingdom of of? Hmm. Boom 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 boom. I'm into it, man. I'm into this. I, I... 
people are probably freaking out right now and being all scared and stuff. I'm just over here like, yeah, let's do this. Um, okay. So we can't open the door. There's like an animation push right there. Feels like. Yeah, see, like, you can see it. So it's trying to, so you're going to be able to just like fly through doors. It's, uh, I can't remember if RE7 actually had that on it. I can't remember the feel of the animation on that. Um, there you go. Ah. We're going to run into some assholes with swords. Maybe. Secret passageways. Ooh. Um, another note. Tin canister. June 9th, 1958. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, it was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the masters of the house were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite uh, peculiar. I was trying. I was trying to read that as peachy for some reason. Yeah. June twenty third, nineteen fifty eight. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle, and I am a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake, and Miss Daniels slashed her face with a knife. And at night, I can hear her wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner. So I opened the window just a crack. Shut it! Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Is that the dude that's in the barrel down? Oh, maybe he got shoved in the barrel. And he's all like, help me. Oh man, PTSD of uh, of Nemesis just grabbing you by the head. Or or Ethan falling down falling down into the rabbit hole. Ah, oh, we're in the house. Oh shit. Oh, we are totally running into one of, one of these daughters. Hello. Very nice feng shui. Anything in here? No? Can't open up everything? Ah. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh, there they are. Okay. Jack Baker, is that you? Nemesis? Mr. X? <laughs> oh, it's automatically opening doors. It's to it totally is automatically opening up doors. Ooh, the lighting is very dark on my end. I don't know if it's very dark in your end. It's probably going to make for way better of a swoop. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Nope. Door is absolutely locked. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm real. I'm really loving all the details on this. Definitely looks better on the screen than it did in the video. And that's just a YouTube thing, or a Twitch YouTube thing. Wait, we just saw this. Ah. Oh shit, are we gonna see the, oh, we get to see it. Oh, we get to see it. She is totally just playing with us right now. This very much feels like the yeah, Resident Evil 1's mansion. Really feels like the mansion incident all over again, which I once again, that's just Wesker's storyline coming into play. So I I everything in me tells me that Wesker is gonna be in this game. Reimagined. 
a brand new version of Wesker is going to be in this game. He's got something to do with this. I probably just saw that's a very nice looking chandelier. All right. I swear. I swear. The finger? No. No, no fingers. Very right, right. okay. Somewhat similar pictures though. The black and white pictures that like in RE7 and okay, so they're not scratched out or anything. So I feel like at some point you're going to be Ethan standing down there and they're all going to be up here like judging you or something, maybe. That's the first door. We need the keys. I wonder how long this actually is. Damn. Golden chandelier. Very nice. It needs a key. Right. What kind of key? It's going to be a puzzle piece. The mask? Maybe? A mask? Possibly? Ding dong? No. No witches are dead. <laughs> Ding dong, which is dead. Wow. Do you go downstairs? Do you go upstairs? Ooh. Can we not have crimson heads in this one? <laughs> ah, there they are. Hurts me more. No. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. All the doors are going to be locked. Yep, all the doors are locked because they only want you to go in and set, select places. Uh, these are like... What? Are, like the clothes I'm wearing? Ethan, you still have no feet. I can't see the clothes you're wearing. Candidates. Irina, Michaela, Luis. Rejects. Uh, Nadine, Camille, Bianca, Melina, Zelina, St Stefana, Gabriella. We are somewhere in Spain for sure. This is everything is is coming out like Spanish, which is again RE4 reimagined. It's like RE4 is Spain. I fucking told everybody this this game is gonna be a Resident Evil 4 reimagined. I like how the atmosphere is them walking around and stuff. What? Oh. They're drinking the blood to try and get the virus to, to turn them into like gods or something instead of injecting themselves with it. And instead, it's turning them into fucking werewolves and stuff. This is totally Bloodborne meets Resident Evil 4. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's actually fucking great. Nice. Everybody was calling me crazy. That's the window open. Close it now. Oh, fuck. It only works what? That was one of those things I thought was always dumb in Resident Evil 7. Like, oh, you can only use the... You can only use that once. And then it goes away. It's like, why? Why? That, that ring looks like straight up out of Bloodborne. Can't see shit, Captain. Can't see shit, Captain! Not one shit at all! Definitely winter outside. Wait, that ring probably goes to the door. It, yeah. Just to get you to go back upstairs. I see what you're trying to do. 
That's her trying try to manipulate me and doing stuff. I got you. I know what. You, oh, I, I, I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're about. Wait. Oh, the hallways. The hallways. That's where it was. I was thinking would, there was another door or something. I'm going to run into. The eye. Okay. Horse. So we can't actually go into. <laughs> There's nobody there. How convenient. The, the atmosphere that they're creating with just the, the extra ant, the, the extra uh, sound effects going on. All right, so this goes in here. Boom. So when are we gonna end up running into? How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet? It's gonna be the mother that shows up sometime behind you, and she goes. Hello, darling. And then she just smacks the shit at you. And, and then it's like, thanks for playing. It's my, that's, that's my little bit of a prediction of how this is going to end. The wine making techniques of Castle Dimitri, Dimit, Dimitri can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Dimitri. Dimetretu Tretetu uses this legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor and intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sanglis Virgin, <laughs> meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. So the blood of a virgin makes the, the wine taste great. Oh, that's right. We're not playing against Ethan. That's why we can't see her feet. Right. That's right. That's right. They just said that. Totally forgot. All right. Nope. Ah. A key! Courtyard key. Yeah. As soon as we go to that door, bam. Where do you think you're going? I think I'm gonna like this villain. I think I'm really gonna like this villain. Ready for round two, where where the shit's about ready to hit the fan? I'm watching. Uh huh. Ready for it. Ready for it. The big ending. Or not. Is that not how you use a key? Oh. I won't last until dinner. You shit. <laughs> Here we go. Ho! Oh, Ho! Oh, yeah! Oh. You're a vampire bitch! <laughs> Yep, there she is. So we finally meet. Oh, I told you. <laughs> oh, that's some Frey Krueger shit. <laughs> Thanks for playing through our visual showcase. We are Resident Evil Village. Yeah. All right. I like it. I like it. Uh, speech graphics. Okay, some new. Some they're they're bringing in some new stuff. Wys. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. 
so I don't feel like there's a whole lot. Open SSL, huh? I don't feel like there's a whole lot more that you're going to have in this demo because there's not a whole lot more to check around. Like, you can't get through any of the other doors unless... Well, there's probably some secret stuff. You could probably get into maybe one or two of the other doors. Hmm. I feel like I clicked on everything and I went everywhere and did everything. Yeah, because uh, the woman that was on that was down below, she had the, the clippers. Hmm. A couple, a couple spots in there got me. I, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. A couple spots in there got me. Whew. Uh, wow. That was that was really good. That was really good. Um, it's it's funny because we don't have any E3s or anything, and now it's like this is how they they can like gauge test whether or not what they're they're working on is. Yeah. Yeah, I just I want to see more. I want to see what the hell happens next. I want to see what the hell is happening with Mia and and Ethan and of course now the baby. Why you know what the hell is up with Chris? Uh, even though I don't like Chris, I never have liked Chris as a character. Maybe this is the time. Although I didn't like Claire so much either in the originals. Um, I always liked Leon more than more than Claire, and then Claire just turned into being this badass, and Leon is is cool as shit too. So. It's uh, it's it's definitely the the recent um remakes and everything is definitely. I just feel like they're they're taking it and there's, and everything. I mean, recently everything Capcom is doing story wise is just top notch. Um, I didn't even I didn't even notice. Was it sixty FPS? Was it thirty? Let's jump in real quick. One more time here. Sixty. I think this is running at 30. I'm hoping that's just a demo thing. I hope this thing is not locked at 30. Is it 60? It, it might be 60. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's... Well, I can't... Mm. It's hard to tell when you just got the flashlight in front of you. No, this is... This is, this is 30, isn't it? It's totally 30 FPS. Yeah, because, like, you'd know if it's 60. It, it would look smooth as silk. Doesn't quite have the smoothness to it. I like it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I wonder if so the the old guy that was in Oh wait, no 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 no. No, this is the one that she got yeah, she got her face slashed or whatever. That's the one that was in the note. Um, I wonder if this is like the daughter of the old dude that's in the trailer. The one that, that shoots at the werewolves. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Damn. Dumbass. <laughs> this is... This is... I want more. I just want more. I also really, really, I, so funny enough, I really think, oh yeah. I did totally miss this. That's a hundred percent the, um, ooh. Oh shit. Eating his legs off. It's a punching bag. Um nothing's hidden in here. Nope. Don't get a weapon at all either. They're all scared shitless. Can't move. 
remove that. So that is, there's your sound effects for your, for your werewolves. This is this is probably one of the coolest looking rooms in the whole thing right here. It's just all this I mean that's all 3D figures right there. It's not it's not just printed on it. <laughs> uh is there anything that was missing in here? It still feels so the one thing I will say about this, um it still it's just like RE7. The first person view on this just feels awkward for some reason. Like RE2 and 3 feel just fine. They they're snappy, they're they're really fun to, you know, zip zing around and everything. And I don't know why, but just something about this engine on like first person view. It just I don't know. It's not quite as snappy as it could be. Like I think it's a, I think it's a dead zone thing. Cause this is even on high on high um, acceleration, you can't really see it on the camera. But I don't know. It just uh, okay. Okay, I'm so uh, so that's about halfway, just over halfway. So then, yeah, that's gonna make everybody sick. But. I was trying to figure out where the dead zone is. So probably like, you know, very, very finely just before you hit the edge of the of the analog stick, that's when it's starting to woof, you know, swing right around. So the weird part is is like it goes from very slow to spinning around very fast. And you have to like pull it over, and it's like this weird spot right there in the control. The RE7 had the same thing with it, too. It's not terrible, it's just, I don't know, it's just something that they could possibly work on. Um, the analog stick curve on it. I wonder, actually, I can test out the other curves, too, because they. Let me get it back into the uh, into the mansion here, or castle. Is it a mansion or is it a ca it's a castle? This looks really good, though. Visually, this looks really good. I was worried for a second when I uh, when I saw the video, because just YouTube and Twitch's video players are. That's the second time that's happened. As soon as I come around this corner, it looks like somebody's leaning against the, the, the doorway right there. And I'm like, who's that? <laughs> yeah, that door is totally locked also. She's playing with her prey. Now let me run downstairs. <laughs> All right, let me, let me fill this camera just a, just a bit here. Uh, control, yeah, controls. No, where was the camera settings? Jeez. Um, let's go weak. What does that do? Oh man, that, that feels like it's a lag on on the camera. That's not right. Mmm, that's gonna be that's that's gonna be something that is gonna that's gonna bug me. I don't know, maybe I play this on keyboard and mouse. Actually, the uh, my Xbox controller. So. 
I have the the Razer Xbox controller that I'll probably be playing this on because I'm probably going to get this on the PC. I actually don't think I'm going to get this on PS5 just because all the mods that will be there. Um, I got uh, RE3 remake on, on the PlayStation, on the PS4, and I was kicking myself in the ass the whole time because I saw all the mods that were happening. I'm like, mm, I want to play those mods. Hmm. Oh man. What it should be is when you look up to to the balconies, she should be just like staring at you. <laughs> that would have been really funny. It's like you're you're just like checking around and all of a sudden bam right there. Uh what if something randomly spawned in one of these? You have to get the random item. I like how she's just totally they're like they're both just playing with you the whole time. They're like, <laughs> yeah, the controls still don't. It, the camera still feels weird. All right, camera speed back down. Oh, that might fix it. Camera speed is matching. Okay, so five with with high acceleration. That feels that's probably feeling the best right there. I think that's what I had. Maybe had uh, RE seven on also. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so she's not going to spawn until nothing to see out there either. That's totally going to be a door out there. I'm going to call right now. You are going to have maybe the first 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes is going to be out in the village. The rest of this game is going to be in this is, is going to be in here. Uh, maybe like the laboratory. So it's going to be like going to, you go into an underground laboratory and whatnot. I kind of really want to fight her. <laughs> wonder what the death animation is by the daughter. Oh, let's check it out. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Literally, the IOQ is right next to me. <laughs> what if we run back down here? <laughs> Bite me. <laughs> Yeah, so you're going to, like, color code these hallways by the fanciness of them. Also, let me just see something. Uh, Graphics-wise, brightness. Oh my god. Right. Oh, it looks so faded. It looks so faded. I was trying to I was trying to see more. And I think the, the yeah, I'm pretty sure the graphics engine is just set to it's set to the spoop so you can't see anything. Damn it. Um maximum brightness, minimum brightness. Brightness overall. Let's try this. Did 
At least there's not a lack of color. I will I will definitely say that. It's do, it does not look faded. As soon as you get the brightness settings right, it does not look faded at all. And some of the like Cyberpunk looks very faded on on the um on the amount of color that shines through. Some games just do that. Ah, there we go. I think I got it spot on now. All right. Let's go get eaten one more time. As soon as you pick up that key, boom, she's going to spawn. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be streaming for because I, uh, I actually wanted to get a couple things set up on the computer tonight. Um, I also kind of want to go and check out with a bird flying to the window. I also kind of want to go check out other people that are streaming this to see what they're... I mean, I, I, could, I could click into their streams real quick and just just check out, see what the hell they're, they're up to. Oh, let's get, uh, let's get eaten by the daughter. That's right. Let's do it. I'm sick I'm of waiting. You. I won't last until dinner. She kind of, she just flies in. Oh fuck, she does. She like flies up on you. There it goes. Ooh. How's it feel? Yeah, it's like bat sounds. Uh. uh okay i was i was kind of hoping there would be like some really crazy ass animation to happen on it okay speed run Let's see if we can break it tall lady that was that was a tall tall one it's white white dress flying by <laughs> Speed run failed. <laughs> Wrong door. Huh. I feel like there might be a there. There might be an item. There might be possibly an item that you can. Uh, oops! Oh jeez! Here we go doing this. Oh, shit. Did I just seriously break the game? I might have broken. Uh. Huh. Well, that happened. I like walked up on her and then all of a sudden. <laughs> I was just trying to speed run and, and you know, I caught her. I caught her just hanging out. Didn't mean to break it. Is she like. Hanging around again? 
Anyways. Hello. There's gonna be another puzzle in there. A statue of some kind. Like you can't fight back, you can't do too much of anything. I'm watching you. Now the game's just waiting for me. <laughs> I won't last until dinner. <laughs> oh! oh no. How's it feel? You are breaking the game. <laughs> Okay, she don't follow you into here. She totally don't follow you into. Okay. The doors were rattling too. Nope, you can't see anything. Nope, can't see shit. Ah, you can't. All right, you can't run away from it either. It's a Frank Krueger shit. I love it. I love it. That's uh that's that's kinda great. Um Resident Evil. That's some top notch stuff right there. Uh it's not a time demo, so they they listened on that. They you know, they just gave us a little something something. That's literally just a teaser. So what we're going to end up seeing is in the updates. Um, hopefully the next demo that we get is on the PC. Um, I th I'm pretty sure it's running at 30 FPS. It does not feel like 60. Um, again, I could be wrong on it. I, it, it looks like to me 30 FPS, um, which on the PS five, that should be running at a lock 60. Um, I, I'm going to say it's 30. But, um, so the next demo, definitely some, some of those, some of those doors are going to have, they're, they're going to be unlocked. They're going to have some keys and everything. So what will be interesting is probably like next month or so, because that's how they did the RE seven demos. Um, every month they had, you know, leading up to the, to the release, I think they had like three versions of the demo, if I'm not mistaken, three or four versions of the demo. Um, there was a whole thing with the, with the, the, um, the finger, the the mannequin finger, and and this and that, and the other thing, and then also uh, you would pick up the phone and you'd have. So it's going to be stuff like that that we're going to see. And so there's going to be some mystery item that's going to pop up in one of those drawers, probably. There could already be an item in there in one of those drawers that, and that's the reason why I'm like I'm kind of wondering what everybody else is is possibly finding or figuring out or something. I can almost guarantee there is some, um, yeah, the ones that I, that I know would be finding this stuff are not, I, they're not streaming anymore. Um, wonder if, uh, if Twitter verse over here has, has anything on it. Let's see. <clears throat> Launch May 7th. Deadline demo. Animation. The sign sucks. Da, da, da. This, that, and the other thing. Um, yeah, I'm already seeing people calling, calling the demo very Bloodborne-ish. Same way I am. Uh, yeah, hot vampires trying to eat your face off. That's basically the uh, the essence of this. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I think. Uh, I think it's gonna be a short one tonight. Just a just a couple hours. Just a couple hours of stream. Um, so yeah, Resident Evil. Resident Evil 8 Village. 
4 remastered bloodborne resident evil bloodborne there we go um it's pretty crazy stuff it's pretty crazy stuff oh so i got high hopes i got high expectations well no i i not not high but i just i know the level that capcom's been doing and i'm very certain that they're going to keep it up for this one even with the with all the pandemic stuff going on and everything seeing chris looking like a werewolf that's still interesting to see if hmm i'm telling you wesker wesker's got something to do with all this he is he is in this damn game it's gotta be it's gotta be um so i'm i'm gonna go and get a couple other things set up on the computer um definitely so i haven't one thing i i need to run back through and i do still want to now that we got the uh oh man now we got the release date for for resident evil 8. now the big question in my brain is my big old brain is um oh actually i need to put this on here too and that just shot one game right in the ass that I was gonna I was thinking about picking up, which is Hood. It's like Robin Hood or something like that. Four player co op. Fuck that Resident Evil. <laughs> we're 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 doing Resident Evil for sure. Um RE eight comes out then. Resident Evil Village. Village. May 7th. Like an early birthday present. That's cool. Very cool. Um, so let me look at the calendar and see when I have time enough to do. When am I going to have time enough? At now until May. Hmm. Got some guilty gear going on in April, March. March has two games coming out. February has two games coming out. Damn. Um, it might be a bit. I might wait until April to to actually do the Resident Evil run through. Um, Guilty Gear Strive is the only thing in April, so. Maybe I will wait until April, um, figure out mods or whatever, figure out, get everything run really smooth on the computer um, for, the, you know, like the, the original OG Resident Evil 1 and 2. I've played three recently before uh, RE3 Remake came out, so I'm not, I'm not going to be doing that, but I will be going back and checking it. So our Resident Evil 1 2 OGs, like OG OG Resident Evil 1 2, um, Resident Evil 4, 5, and 6. And the most important one of all is Resident Evil 7 Chris DLC. Because there is a lot of story buildup for Resident Evil Village as in RE7 Chris DLC. Chris DLC is also for free, I'm pretty sure. So I should be able to run. I'm, I'm going to run it all on the PC and everything. Um,. Don't think there's VR support on the DLC, if I remember right. So, I uh, yeah, that's that's going to be probably like I said in April. I'll probably end up doing that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna post up that clip that just happened there where I where I ran into her in the hallway and everything. Um, hopefully, I don't sound too goofy. And yeah, we'll see what ends up happening uh, with the with the next version of the of the demo. For Resident Evil 8. Um, again, I'm probably going to pick this up on the PC. I'm actually, this is like one of the very few series that I'm like, you know, kind of done playing on the console because there's so many mods from the community um, that I just, I want to see it on the PC. Um, so that's, that's going to be definitely the Capcom side of things. Just like Don't May Cry. Uh, the only reason why I got Don't May Cry 5 on, on the PS5 was because there was stuff that was you know that's not launched on the uh, like the uh, the extra enemies mode and all that 
Uh, Virgil was literally exclusive to the PlayStation. So, and now he's not. But, yeah. Uh, check out the YouTube channel for more Let's Talks. This is definitely going to be on the YouTube channel too. And um, Let's Talks, sometime sooner or later, I'm going to get back to recording more gameplays, more gameplay episodes, uh, which is just straight up gameplay and me doing commentary, no no camera. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens on the next stream here. So... Really cool Resident Evil Night. Oh, uh, next stream will be Hitman 3. That's right. We got to finish up Hitman 3. So uh, I'm going to also be working on that, getting all all the cool stuff unlocked in the background. And then uh, once we finish up Hitman 3, then I'm going to do a really cool montage that will be on YouTube. So, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's a big reason why I'm going to be calling it tonight a little bit earlier than normal. Um, it is only 7 o'clock, so I got plenty of time to work on stuff tonight. Cool. Resident Evil 8 looks great. I like it. 8 looks great. And I cannot wait for more. Like I said, the Bloodborne fused with Resident Evil 4 fused with this crazy new story. Awesome new characters. There's so much charm in this. So much charm in Resident Evil 8. I think after everybody was like, Resident Evil 3 is a piece of shit, man. Resident Evil 3 remake. I don't like it. Nah, 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 nah. I think this is going to be the one where everybody's like, this is pretty cool. Holy shit. This, I, I liked it. I like this too. Whoa. I think this is going to be the one that gets everybody back on like solid terms, you know? Also, I can't wait to see what the hell they end up doing with the, uh, with the mods on this. I, I'm trying to think of like, um, I'm trying to think of like what the mods would be other than just like nude mods or something. Although Capcom don't want you doing nude mods anymore. That's that's against their policy. It's just going to happen. Especially, we don't want you doing nude mods. And then they add that of a villain. <laughs> Literally, four waifus as villains. What do you think's going to happen? And they're witches. One of them's like 12 feet tall with big boobs. Like, you're just asking for it, Capcom. <laughs> that's the Mayan community in a nutshell. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the third person mod, that'd be that'd be something I'd like to see happen for Village. Hopefully the script thing can just work on Village. Um do you do I really want to run through it though in third person mode on my first playthrough? Um Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyways. I'm gonna call it there. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to cough into the microphone. Um, let me call it there, though. I will uh, check around for more demo stuff. If anybody finds anything, I'll come back and, and do it on next stream at like the beginning of the stream just to kick it off. Maybe we'll play this one. We'll play through it one more time on just to kick a, the next stream off. But uh, yeah, yeah, this uh, this looks good. It feels good. It's running at a low frame rate. That's my biggest gripe with it so far. And, uh, yeah, I want to go post that, that clip up before somebody else does it and post it up. See if we can get some likes, ha, huh? some shares, some retweets and stuff. Um, I don't think it was supposed to happen because it kind of wigged out twice. So, um, yeah, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, I will see ya next time.